Cavaliers will have service for the next five points. Alina Pizer, sophomore, is back for the Cavaliers. Soft little jump serve. Argus handles it. Gets the bump set and the spike. That's going to be long. Number eight, Dreamer Richard with the good looking swing there. Just a little long. Pizer back. Little jump serve. Soft. Handled by the Dragons. Nice hit by number 18, Mackenzie Cox. But it was out of bounds. Pizer doing a great job of spotting there, and that ball is in. Well placed by Alina Pizer. Another spot shot there by Alina. Nice hustle by number 21 again. Dragons just couldn't quite get down there quick enough. Great effort of getting down on, on the ground. Number 18, Mackenzie Cox. Back for the Dragons to serve. She gets it over. Timmy handles it from the back line to Shedro. Sets it to Kruger. Good hit. Kramer Richards got a deflection on that. Nicely done. It's going to be set to Kruger again. She's going to push it over and called for the uh, two touch. Cox's serve into the net. Once again, if you're just tuning in and you're confused as to why they're losing the point but continuing the serve, it is a scrimmage format. So each team at this particular point is getting five serves at a time. This will be the fourth for Cox, and it's going to be short. Oh, that was her fifth. I'm sorry. Service to the Cavaliers. Looks like Natalie Stevens will be serving as Brooklyn Sellers comes in for the libero. Eckright. Stevens gets the ball over. Argus gets it back in one. Culver manages to get it over in three. Nice little ball there by number eight, Dreamer Richard for the Dragons. Finds a hole in the Cavaliers. Nice little hover ball there, or knuckle ball. Not qu quite sure what the correct word in volleyball is. Steven serves it in deep in the art dragon territory. Nice left-handed shot by number 21 there. I apologize once again for not mentioning names, but I only like I can only do with what I have in the roster in front of me. So I don't have their name. I'll just say their number. Stevens again. Steven serve seems to be giving the Dragons a little bit of trouble. Point awarded to Culver. I believe there was an Argus Dragon in the net. Looks like both teams have plenty of girls on their squads. Culver especially, they're number, uh, numbering over 20 this year in the volleyball program. Set goes up for Sellers. She gets it in the middle. Great play by Dreamer Richard there. Shed row to Kruger. 
Nice block by 21, but recovered by Culver. Nice block again. Nicely done. Exciting little volley there. Freeman Richards with a fantastic serve there. Handled by the Cavaliers. Kruger's uh, hit is blocked by the Dragons. Oh, Serena Eckbright had some trouble in reverse. Nice serve, free ball back to the Dragons. Good hustle. Appears we had number 21 in the net for the Dragons. Prima Richard will serve her fifth and final serve this set. Nice serve. Handled by Pizer. Up to Shedro and then to Kruger with a nice hit, just a little long. Emma Kruger, senior for the Cavaliers who had knee injury last year. Cavaliers are super excited to have her back in the lineup. She'll be serving her five serves for the Cavaliers. Some serve to the back row. Illegal hit by the Dragons. Looks like we have number seven on the court for the Dragons, Samantha Rose. Kruger, nice jump serve. Miscommunication there. I'm sure that'll be a coaching point for Dragon coach Rachel Schaefer. Going to be a free ball to the Cavaliers. Eckright to Shedro to Timmy. Looks like that was a tip. Point to the Cavaliers. Career with a little miss hit there. Just barely deep. like zero is going to be Samantha Ferguson and Libero coming on for Argus. Service is short.
serves up, handled by Sellers. Cavaliers get the ball over. Timmy's hit goes long. Nice little play by both sides there. Timmy's ball goes long. Going to take a little break here, so we'll hear from one of our sponsors. If you're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. We'll be back in a minute. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Okay, we're back. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. Volage, or volage, volleyball scrimmage between the Argus Dragons and the uh, Culver Cavaliers. Running a scrimmage format here. So we'll see uh, what comes up in the next uh, frame here. Previously, they were sharing five serves per side and getting the girls the opportunity to get comfortable with, uh, with serving the ball. So we'll see what we're going to have here in this scenario. Once again, just a reminder, new this year from RTC TV uh, 4 is the uh, eight satellite schools that are sponsored by RTC have now their own, uh, their own channels. So you can stream your favorite school's TV 24 seven. You can either get the, uh, the app, the RTC TV app, or you can go to their website and watch your favorite school's TV all day long. Once again, I don't, I wasn't privy to the uh, scrimmage format, so we'll just kind of try to figure this out together here. Once again, the Cavalier football team will be at North Miami tomorrow night. Obviously facing North Miami along with Oak Hill. Saturday, the Culver uh, girls soccer team will be at uh, Victory Christian Academy in Valparaiso for their soccer scrimmage. And the Culver boys will be at Argus tomorrow night for their soccer jamboree. So time's up. Stevens out, Eck right in. Looks. As you can see at the end of both courts, we have some extra girls kind of surrounding the area, so we'll see what their role is. Shedro up, jump serves good. Argus manages to get it back in play. Kruger's going to hit short into the net. 
Balls played back in by a coach. Appears to be working on flow of game here and keeping the girls active and reacting. Overmeyer short, ball's gonna, uh, they're gonna stop for a, making sure everybody's in the right spot. Number six, Kendall Ferguson back to serve for the Dragons. Ball's up, good, great serve, great serve. Kruger tries to get up and save it for the Cavaliers. Ball's played into the Dragons. Stevens in for Sellers. Eck right back to serve. Nice serve by Eck right. Find a hole, ball's gonna be played. Some confusion there. Once again, ball in the middle. Didn't know if it was, that ball was to Timmy or to Stevens. Number 21 back to serve for the Dragons. Nice hit by Dreamer Richards there. Find some space in the Cavaliers. Looks like Kerry Norris will be in for Natalie Stevens. Nice ball by number 14, Keely Bradley there. Timmy for the Cavaliers. Nice jump serve. Kerry Norris gets it over for the Cavaliers. Schedule. Overmeyer to Kruger. She gets it over. Eckwright's hit goes errant to the left. Pizer is going to be checking in for Overmeyer. Kaylee Bradley back to serve for the Dragons. The serve's going to fall short. Kaiser serves wide right, played back in by the coach. Nice hit by Kruger. Out of bounds to the right. Timmy was a good hard hit into the net though. Number 18, Mackenzie Cox. Serves long.
Nice combination by the Dragons and allowed Shedro to find some open space in the middle. Stevens back in for Kerry Norris. Kruger serves over and good. Argus handles. Good hit by Timmy. Stevens gets a little opportunity to get one over. Argus makes a substitution. Nice placement by Shedro. Well hit, just a little long by Timmy. Good hit by number six, Kendall Ferguson. Timmy got a piece of it, but not enough. Free ball into the Dragons, served by Coach Barrett. Played in by Coach Barrett. Nice hit by number 21, and a nice up by Kruger. To Eckright, back to Kruger. It's gonna fall long. Looks like that's going to be a, uh, a break between sessions. Once again, we'll take an opportunity to hear from some sponsors. This is Culver TV coming to you from RTC TV 4. We'll be back. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. We're back in John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV, brought to you by 
RTC TV4. Once again, the Argus Dragons and Lady Dragons against the Lady Cavs in this volleyball scrimmage format. We'll see what they have in store for us next. Once again, I'm Chris Stevens, Rand Stevens here as well. For support, you can expect uh, to hear from Mike Bushman again this year from the Culver Crew, Colton Miller on the camera, some help from Shane Lowry, Justin Croy, Chad Hollenball. We're getting started here, Shedro back. Seems like she's got that jump serve tuned in. Struggled a little bit on her first five serves in the first uh, frame of this scrimmage scenario. Good looking ball there. Second seconds over, finds the middle of the floor. Argus doing a little adjusting with their lineup. Nice serve. Let's see if we can uh, take a look at that again. Tried to show an instant replay of that. Uh, I don't think that it worked. Maybe it did, I'm not positive. Shedro back to serve. Seem to be struggling a little bit with Shedro's serve. Shedro uh, apparently premature with that serve, not waiting for the whistle. Libero Ferguson gets the ball back over for the Dragons. Timmy going to play the back over, uh, ball back over for the Cavaliers. Should get a bump set spike here. Shedro plays it deep. Argus recovers. Dreamer Richards from back off the net. That ball is in. Well played by the Dragons. Lucy Overmeyer, freshman, with a nice shot down the side. Stevens checking in for Sellers. Looks like that might be the end of that particular frame. So they're going to reset the scenario. Argus with seven, Culver with 10. Argus is serve. Number six, Kendall Ferguson back for the Lady Dragons.
like Lady Cavaliers are making sure everybody's in the right spot. Ball's over. Kruger's able to get the ball up in the air. Shedro gets it back to Kruger. Nice block by number 21 on Argus. Stevens could not get there. Great serve by number six, Kendall Ferguson. Another great serve. Eckwright's able to get it over, but it's going to be wide left. Cavaliers struggling with Ferguson's uh, serve here. Eckwright repositioned herself. Shedro plays it off to Kruger. Good hit. Dragons managed to cover it. Shedro, Pizer. She's going to be called for a lift. Set for Eckright. Cox not able to handle it for the Dragons. Alex Timmy back to serve. Jump serve is into the net. Great serve by number 21 from Argus. Good attempt by Eckright. Oh, miscommunication there. Shedro trying to find some space in the back. Somebody's into the net. Timmy not able to handle the serve. Point to the Dragons. They will reset here. Looks like they'll be taking another little break. So once again, we'll take a break also. You're watching Culver TV, brought to you by RTC TV 4. We will be back in a minute. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, we're back here in John R. Nelson Gymnasium. <clears throat> You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. Once again, volleyball scrimmage. Culver Cavaliers hosting the Argus Dragons. We're 
going to be having a new scenario here. Actually, I think Culver has their JV squad, and I'm assuming the same. Once again, I mentioned earlier the numbers that Culver has, over 20 girls in the volleyball program. So Coach Barron's done a great job of building up those numbers. Anna Lewis back to serve for the Cavaliers. between the official and Coach Schaefer there. <laughs> so I think uh, Argus is getting their JV squad onto the court. Coach Angie Small, JV uh, Coach Angie Small, taking the opportunity to talk to her JV girls. It looks like she has on the floor with her Anna Lewis, Kaylee Hamilton, <clears throat> Cheyenne Lindsley, Addie Crippen, Megan Pearl, and Lucy Overmeyer. Once again, a reminder that our Culver Cavalier boys football team will be at North Miami tomorrow night. And they will be, uh, North Miami will be hosting the Cavaliers for a football scrimmage and they have also added Oak Hill to that scrimmage. Saturday, Lady Cavalier soccer at Victory Christian and boys soccer at Argus in the evening. Anna Lewis has serves over Barrow gets it up for Argus. Pearl to Overmeyer. Hits it hard. It's going to go to Culver on deflection, I believe. Nope. No deflection. Point to Argus. Serves up. Pearl plays it over. Looks like for Argus, we have number 15, McKenna Limeberry. Number four, Lillian Petz. 13, Caitlin DeWolf. Number three, Avery Ness. Who am I missing? Number seven, Samantha Rose. And Libero, Samantha Ferguson. Limeberry sends it over. Hamilton to Pearl. Overmeyer gets it over. Point to Culver for a legal hit from Argus. Shanna Doherty is going to come in for Cheyenne Lindsley here. Lucy Overmeyer back to serve. Played by number 15, Limeberry. Number four, Pets. Sent over the net by number three, Avery Ness for the Dragons. Number 19, Brian Moyer in for the uh, Lady Dragons. As number seven, Samantha Rose back to serve for the Dragons. Gets the ball over, miscommunication. Rose's serve, short. Kendi Crevison's gonna substitute in for Addie Crippen. A 
Coach Small doing a lot of pointing and talking here. Hamilton with a nice serve over. <clears throat> Limeberry having trouble handling that serve. Be Hamilton again back to serve. Nicely done. Nicely handled by the Dragons. It's gonna be four hits. Pearl finds an open space in the Dragon Court. Not sure what happened there, to be honest with you. <laughs> Megan Pearl back to serve for the Lady Cavs. Good effort by the Lady Dragons, but I believe number 13, DeWolf, was in the net. Another opportunity for Pearl. That one's going to be wide right. Got a push called on Overmeyer there. Caitlin DeWolf will be back to serve for the Dragons. Nice up by Overmeyer. And Lewis gets it to Pearl. Pearl gets it over. Kennedy Creviston serves short for the Lady Cavs. We're going to have a substitution. Libero, Samantha Ferguson in to serve for the Dragons. JV coach Angie Smalls at the bench describing her rotation. Serves over. Pearl gets the up to Lewis. Sets it to Overmeyer. Gets it over. Good attempt by DeWolf there. Falls short. Addie Crippen in for Hamilton. Trevison serves good. Played by Libero Ferguson. Gets it over and by a nice hit by Samantha Rose. Ball to net. Full short. Point goes to Culver. Cheyenne Lindsley checking in for Shanna Doherty.
Craviston serve is short. Lillian Pets for the Dragons. Serves up and good. Pearl gets the ball over, but returned quickly by the Dragons. Pets again. Serves good. Libero Hamilton gets it up into the net. Pearl managed to return Pets' serve. Hamilton gets it over the net. Mm. Culver falls short, point goes to the Dragons. Pets to serve again. Balls up, Lindsley up to Lewis, Lewis to Overmeyer, serves it. Dragons get three hits in return, falls out of bounds. Point Cavaliers. Marissa Milam checking in for the Cavaliers, coming in for Anna Lewis. Milam back to serve. Milam serve is up and returned. <laughs> Unable to return Milam serve. Scores tied at 13. Milam's ball is up and good. Pets to Ness to Rose. A legal hit. See if we can take a look at that again real quick. Nicely played by the Dragons. Overmeyer gets a hold of it, but sends it long. Point will go to the Dragons. South Paul, 15, Lineberry serves it in. Cavaliers unable to return it. Lineberry second serve falls short. Elizabeth Gray in for the Cavaliers, coming in for Lindsley. Michaela Caldill in for Overmeyer for the Cavaliers. Michaela Caldill will be back to serve. Serves up and good. Libero Ferguson struggles with it and puts it into the net. Point Cavaliers. Caldill again. Up and over. Ferguson handles this one. Mm. 
Dragon just got a little mixed up there. Coach coming out to offer some advice. Good serve. Legal set called on the Dragons. Alyssa Hines coming in for Addie Crippen for the Cavaliers, wearing number 10. Caudill back to continue her streak here for the Cavaliers. the net played gray is able to send it back over for the cavaliers nicely hit and saved by ness sent over and point dragons hamilton unable to handle that high ball in the back number 19 moyer back in for the dragons looks like rose is back to serve Coach Small out helping with the rotations. Serves up and good. Hines plays it back, finds a hole in the middle. Point in service back to the Cavaliers. Kennedy Creveston will be coming in for Melissa Hines. <laughs> Hamilton back to serve for the Cavaliers. Up and in the net. Cavaliers looking to put this away and the Dragons looking to hold on. Ness back to serve for the Dragons. Balls up. Hamilton's going to take the first touch to Pearl. Creveston's going to send it over. Trouble in the net. Point Cavaliers. <clears throat> Megan Pearl looking to score the final point, but before we do, Anna Lewis back in for Marissa Milam. Pearl decided to take a second look at that. Up and over. First touch, good by the Dragons. Managed to get the ball over in three. And point Cavaliers. We will see what scenario now that we have. Okay, looks like that might be a wrap. So, thank you so much for joining us here. And once again, I apologize for any of the glitches or pauses once again we're uh, just starting up a new season so hope to be bringing you 
some more fluid uh, broadcast once again tomorrow football boys Culver football boys will be at North Miami Saturday uh, Culver soccer girls will be at uh, Victory Christian in Valparaiso Culver boys soccer will be at um, Argus for the Jamboree you've been watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4 on behalf of Chris Stevens and Ryan Stevens have a good evening.